What up, what up? This is your boy Janky. If you don't personally know me, then you wouldn't know that I'm a police officer. A little bit of background information myself. Uh, my name is Mike, 37 years old. I live in Los Angeles, California, and I currently work for a local agency here in Southern California. I've been a police officer for 12 years now. I'm part of the motorcycle team, which is awesome. I get to ride a motorcycle all day, and uh, I love it. Um, the reason like my patches are covered up right now is because it's actually against our policy, our department policy, to be displaying uh, our our patches and stuff or videos like YouTube and things like that. So I just didn't want to get in trouble. Ain't nobody got time for that. So moving forward, the reason I'm making this video today is to answer a question that I get asked a lot. Now. You know, when I'm working, I'm out in the streets, I'm just, you know, talking to people, just everyday conversations, I always get asked, Hey officer, what is all that stuff on your belt? You know, what, what, what is this? And how much does it weigh? Is it heavy? You know, I've never actually taken the time to weigh this stuff. So I think today would be a good opportunity for me to do that and just to kind of share some information just so you guys have a better idea of what a typical police officer carries every day on his or her gun belt. So stick around, I'll be back in a few minutes, we'll bust out the scale and we'll weigh this stuff. Alright, catch you in a bit. Now before I started weighing everything individually, I kind of wanted to just give you guys a general overview of what a typical police officer carries on his or her gun belt every day. This happens to be the rig that I use every single day that I'm working. It's made out of nylon. Uh, traditional police belts are usually made with leather and tend to be heavier. But you know, because of the nature of my, my work and my assignment, we get to wear the nylon gear. Um, and without further ado, let's start. So this right here, this is my baton, your standard issue PR24. Uh, this one is made of aluminum. Uh, some are made out of wood or some are even made of plastic. This is the aluminum model. Uh, moving on, we have our pepper spray over here or mace, whatever you want to call it. This is standard issue, uh, standard issue for us. That's that. Um, next up, I got your keys. You got your. I got my police car keys, my my motorcycle keys right there. Next one over here is my service pistol. I'm not gonna unholster it, but that is uh, my 1911 uh, Springfield TRP. Over here, I always carry a utility knife on the side here. That's just your basic fold-away knife. On the other side of that, I have clipped is. This is your radiation detector. This is now a policy mandate, so we have to carry this with us everywhere we go. I just decided to clip it on here next to my holster. It's out of the way, it doesn't get in the way of things. Uh, next, moving on, you got your standard police issue handcuffs. Uh, there's two of them, so you just have two of those right there in the, uh, the magazine pouches. Uh, moving on, you got here, I got my backup flashlight. I got a backup flashlight right here. This is a Streamlight LED. Very good light. Um, next up, this is your uh, Taser. This is a Taser Model X26. So this one right here is a less lethal uh, option for police officers. Uh, they're very popular now. Um, that's part of my rig too. It's policy, it's policy for us to carry this on our person so that's why I started carrying it just recently so that's that put that back and let's see what else I got some other miscellaneous miscellaneous keys right here just some more keys a USB drive some handcuff keys that kind of sort of thing so moving on next this is your standard typical police radio Got to carry this with us everywhere we go, obviously, uh, so we can hear transmission, make transmissions, that kind of thing. This wire here connects to my police motorcycle, and my helmet connects here, so that's that. And then last but not least, I have extra magazines over here. These are 10-round uh, 1911 magazines, so each one of these holds 10 rounds of 45 ACP. So. That's about it. I'm going to break this stuff down and then I'm going to start weighing them individually so that we can get an idea of how much all this weighs together. All right, catch you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, I got my scale set up here, so I'm ready to start weighing my things individually. Uh, forgive my hand. I burned myself the other day while cooking, 
But anyhow, that's that. So we'll start it off by uh, weighing my PR24. This is your typical police issue, PR24. That in itself is a pound and almost nine ounces. Now, this is going to vary from police officer to police officer because some carry this, some carry the expandable ones. Uh, my department allows us to carry either this or the expandable. It's all preference. This is just my choice. So that's how much it weighs. Moving on. Uh, this is your pepper spray right there just by itself is 2.7 ounces and with the pepper spray pouch That's 4.3 ounces. All right Moving on I got my key holder and some keys Everybody carries keys. So that's five ounces Next one here, this is my service pistol. Now this service pistol is currently loaded. This is, like I said, it's a 1911 um, TRP. So this is a fully loaded right now. I'm not gonna handle it. Just take it out of the holster. That's three pounds by itself. I'll put it back in the holster. And with the holster, that weighs about, give me a second here guys. With the holster, that's four pounds and five and a half ounces. That's a holster by itself is a pound and a half. I can't believe that. Okay, moving on. Just your regular fold away knife, nothing fancy. That's 4.1 ounces. This is just a regular pocket knife, just to cut things, stuff like that. Next is our Radiation detector by itself right there. That's 6.6 .6 ounces with the pouch Because you got to carry that in a pouch. That's nine ounces right there. All right moving on Put this back You have next are two handcuffs. So this is one handcuff pair of handcuffs This is a second pair of handcuffs just those handcuffs by them themselves or a pound and 3.4 ounces now you got to carry them somewhere so you got to weigh the pouches too so that's not too bad a pound and 7.3 ounces so moving on I got my backup flashlight I have my main flashlight inside my motorcycle uh, saddlebag so this is just a backup that I keep on my person every day so how much does that weigh by itself 5.2 ounces and the pouch 6.9 ounces okay moving right along got miscellaneous keys here most cops carry some sort of miscellaneous key set for whatever uh, this happens to be mine that's 6.8 ounces Next one, this is our taser. So this right here, I'll take it out of the holster, which just broke right now, great. Now how am I supposed to, well anyhow, I'll just weigh the whole thing. So that's 15.6 ounces, that's almost one pound by itself. Uh, the taser and the holster. Next one is your Police radio. This is a Motorola police radio. That by itself is a pound and 9.3 ounces. And with this radio holder, now you're looking at a pound and 13.3 ounces. Almost two pounds. Next on the list is my 1911 magazines i gotta carry extra magazines with me obviously so each one these are loaded with 10 rounds of 45 acp so that's 10.3 so three of them would be about what 30 ounces or so yep just about and with the magazine holder so that is two pounds and two ounces all right, moving right along. And what keeps it all together is the actual 
gun belt, uh, people call this the Sam Brown gun belt, whatever, whatever you want to call it, this is what keeps it all together on your waist. Okay, so this is, like I said, the nylon model. Uh, traditional police uh, agencies, they use leather, which tend to be heavier. We get to use nylon, so this is how much it weighs. So just the belt by itself is 11.4 ounces. Okay, so now that we have everything weighed individually, now we'll see how much everything weighs all together. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I got my scale set up again, and now we're going to start weighing everything together to get the uh, total weight of all the equipment that I carry on my belt every day. So first, I'm going to get a somewhat of a container to hold everything in, and then uh, after that, I'm going to zero it out. I hope you guys can see the numbers on the scale there. So we'll let that settle, and then I'll zero it out, just so we have... A baseline so now it's zeroed out so first thing we're gonna add to this is the PR 24 there you go after that up next is pepper spray mace whatever you want to call it and the pouch for it so we'll add that all right after that, you got your key holder, your police car keys, my motor, police motorcycle keys. I get added to the mix. After that, you've got a heavy one, which is my service pistol. So add that on there. So, so far we are up to six pounds and seven and a half ounces. We're not done. So after that, you got your, I got my fold away knife, my radiation detector and pouch, put that in there. I got a pair of handcuffs right here and the pouch. I got another pair of handcuffs here and the pouch as well. Add that. For that, I got some miscellaneous keys, add that on there. So far we're 9 pounds and 3 ounces. Then we got this, back of flashlight and the pouch, have that. Then I have my police radio and radio holder, add that. Okay, so we're at 11 pounds, 7.5 ounces. We got this, which is uh, my 1911 magazines, 10 rounders each, fully loaded. 45 ACP and the mag pouch, mag hold type thing. So add that. So we're at 13 pounds, nine and a half ounces. Um, taser and the holster for it. Add that on there. So 14, 14 pounds, nine ounces. Okay, good. Last but not least, to keep everything together is the actual gun belt itself, nylon. And there you have it. So all in all, I'm carrying 15 pounds and four and a half ounces on my waist every day. All right? I'll be right back. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, that was pretty educational. At least for me, it was. I hope it was for you, too. I hope you guys learned something new. I had no idea that I carried an extra 15 pounds with me. I knew it was heavy, but uh, I didn't think it was that heavy. So I think that's pretty average. Uh, it's going to vary from officer to officer. Some people are going to have more stuff on their belt or less stuff, and there's going to be variances in the way. But I think mine was pretty average. So anyhow, that's about it. I hope you guys learned something new. If you like the video, show some love. Hit that like button. If you really like it, go ahead and subscribe. And until then, uh, take care. Take it easy out there. Always be safe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.